CST toboggan. I paid $99 a piece for these. I've got an electric bike that I am planning on putting these on today. Stud system is pretty good. There's none in the middle, but there's the knobs on all the sides, on either side. There's that. Original bike tires. I have almost 700 miles on them now. So you take off the tire, I've already loosened them, and they come off pretty easy. So that's not a problem. In the back, that is what is required for the size of the wrench. You have to loosen them off. There is an Allen screw that you have to remove because that locks everything in. So I removed the nut from the end. And as you can see, this is an extra security to hold your wheel in place. Once you remove this, then you can pop that out and your wheel will be free once you release the other nut and the chain. So there are two clips, this one here and this one here that you need to cut to be able to take your wheel off once you unplug that. Grab the chain, get it so it's past the First thing to do is take the air out of the tire and we're going to pull the tire off. I can push this tire around the rim fairly easy and I do have some tools to help me get that tire off. See how this works? That was relatively easy. And there we go. That was real easy. So now what I'm going to do is pull the tube out and then I'll take the tire completely off and get the other one on the roof. There we go. Tire is removed. Here is the toboggan. So that went on really easy. Believe it or not, it's actually recommended to have some air in your tire or your tube when you put the tire on because it'll help hold the tire onto the rim. First thing you do is you put the stem in. And that'll lock that in and put the cap on so it won't go anywhere. I did take a little more air out of the tires, but as you see, this will tuck in very easily, very quickly. There's still some air in here, which is good. Keep the shape of the tire. Tuck it in. And pretty much the rim, the tire is in its place. The stem is good because this is where you want to, you got to slide it around. It's a good time to do it. Make sure I don't have any pinching on my tubes. I'm checking it all the way around. It looks good. And now I am going to start putting the tire back on, which will be relatively easy. Okay, I'm going to use this. Pull it down. Actually, I'm just gonna put it. Flip it, and again, I'm holding one side down while I do this. And done. Now I will slowly inflate this tire, wiggle around, make sure everything's sitting good.
rotation. Very important to put this tire on correctly in the right direction. Did I do it? I don't know. I'll let you know. As I was saying, I had a 50-50 chance of getting this right. No. Not this. Did not get it right. So I'm going to take this apart, flip the tire around. Practice makes perfect. Learn from my mistakes. The tire has now been flipped. I'm adding pressure. I'm bouncing on 10, so I'm right where I want to be. And there it is. CST toboggan. Oh. I will Things I've it. learned. Again, very important to get that edging equally around your rim. So your tire is actually round and not a little off from the circle. Um, this is really the first time I've tried this pump. It works really, really good. Pumps both ways. It's a lot more room for play, but also more room for error when you're inflating it. So you want to take your time and make sure that that tire sets in well into that rim and there's no twists in your tubes. Uh, I'm getting ready to go put this on the bike and we're going to go try them out. Definitely grippier than uh, my other tires. My other tires didn't have nearly the knobs this one does. I'm gonna say it uh, inspires a little confidence. On dirt, a little bit noisier, but. I have about nine pounds of pressure in both tires. I like it. I, I definitely, uh, compared to my other tires, these things have a whole lot more grip. I've actually got really good thread here. And of course, it's studded. Hey, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.